Hello and welcome everybody to some 47 game in action. So back, relax and enjoy. This is going to be the speed run version. We're going to go through everything super fast in less than five minutes. Can we do it? We're going to speed run it. Necropolis League. A lot of stuff came in. We're going to be doing, uh, it's going to be affecting the campaign a lot. A lot of very monster variation, a lot of power uh, control of the player to select what you want and how you want to do it. So bear in mind, a lot of people, I think I'm just going to kind of skip it and just go on because it could waste a lot of time. Keep those corpses because we're going to use those corpses to craft some crazy stuff. Uh, because in the beginning, you're going to just sell them cheaply. In the meantime, there's going to be a huge, for example, modifiers of physical, maybe minion damage. And you need to keep them and you're going to create some crazy items. Um... Next is content. Let's talk about it. Automation of gems. No more left mouse button. That is super sad. But now you got automation gems and war cry gems. You configured uh, transfigured gems. Looking cool, but they're meh. Overall, let's get stacks of 20 finally. What took them so long? Uh, uh, Pantheon power. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Now compound. No more re rolling and getting up 20, div 20 divine flasks. Baldo tier 17 maps. Very few of us are going to actually end up ever doing it, unfortunately. And it's locked and it's gated and it's going to increase the price of stuff. Oh well, is what it is. Let's go on to the next in-game content. Uber bosses have their own variety now. You can't just go do an Uber boss or maybe do a non-Uber variety. You won't incentivize. So it would be wasteful to not run the Uber variety variant instead of selling him. Now they're locked behind tier 17 maps. Is what it is. They're unmodifiable. So certain builds you're going to be bricked. If you're an SSF or hardcore, you're... You're effed. You're totally effed in the, in the rear. So if your build can't do it, you can't do tier 17, you can't do Ubers, good luck, reroll, go next, make a new build that can do everything. So in terms of trade, people will be trading it around. Could be Wraith Lord build coming up over, where was it? I think they did some changes here for certain items. Uh, Darkseer, unique, whatever. Um, Wraith Lord helmet, they're copying Last Epoch, or Lifestyle Op, Last Epoch is copying them. Wraith Lord build, here we go. Gonna have to get this item. We'll see how rare it is. Unique pinnacle bosses drop certain items compared to their non-unique, so they're going to be gated. Those items are going to be super shit expensive. Next thing is fifth slot unlocked from tier 17 map, non valdo Remember, so no more running those BS five ways is what it is. Sixth since removed, rip trade, rip TFT. Congratulations, well done. You know, no, no more um, uh, freaking uh, sixth since are going to be traded in. No more have to try and trade in sextants and this, that, and next thing for chaos is what it is. Oh well. You know, you don't have to do that anymore. Thank goodness. Uh, next is Scarab Reworks. They're going to be worth so much more. I think people are going to be worth absolute metric shit ton. There's 20 new Scarabs. So people are going to be anything that's delirium, Scarab farming, or this Scarab farming, or whatever. Scarabs are going to be the way to go because especially uh, Syndicate operative boxes have been removed. So. I think people are going to be dying for these scarabs, so hold on to them. And the fact that they've got 20 stack, great. Next one, invitations. No more buying and selling invitations for boss dressing. God damn, that, that's really good. They did that now, so you get your bosses, you speak to Kirik, opens it for you, fantastic. You can still modify it. Uh, another change is this great thing that they added, passive tree for the Necropolis League. Fan freaking fantastic. You can actually change the power of your league. They're adding a lot of control to the user, but at the same time, the users are pretty... You got to be careful when you're giving it hands of the power of your customers because customers can do crazy and silly things. So I'm not sure if it's a good thing to or bad thing to give us so many things. Bad thing is no more stream of consciousness, wandering path and growing hordes. I use this a lot, especially streams of consciousness, wandering path. So things like shaping the mountain where you get additional teardrops are going to be huge. Going to be huge, huge, huge. So anything that increases the teardrop, so on and so forth, and be very, very valuable. We're going to try and beeline them. Um, next thing is destructor play. I used a lot. There's fewer monsters, the more there will be more additional bosses. Take note of that. Um, there's a lot of other passives here that I haven't even read through. I'm not even that knowledgeable on them, so I can't really comment. But there's probably a couple of busted ones. Like, for example, no syndicate operative boxes. No, no more big loot drops of scarab from bosses. And, uh, boxes. So now it's just um, just opens again. And this comes back to the sextants. Before, you would have your end, end juicing has definitely been nerfed. So normally you'd have a map with four scarabs and four sextants. Now it's only four scarabs. I think end game nerfing, uh, end game farming has been nerfed quite a lot. Has been pro definitely cut back a lot. I think at the back of my mind. Um, other than that, we're gonna have to read through a couple of these as well. Nothing too crazy. You know what? It'll update on atlas planner people will be putting out their own atlas builds i'll probably be doing the same one or two for you to farm um 
and so on and so forth. You cannot farm Screaming Essence as a rip essence farming in white peer maps. You can only do it in yellow and red, but it'll still be pretty good. Oh well, is what it is. Scarab changing for Syndicate. Syndicate has been definitely changed hugely because the Chaos Orb now is for uh, Ashling has been removed. So I think the fact that I think uh, Syndicate has been, from my opinion, has been absolutely stripped back and absolutely slapped is what it is. Breach hands, you don't have to click on them and die. Now you can just walk over them. Great quality of life change. Cortex no longer drops. Oh well, is what it is. Only from certain things. No longer from map bosses, is what it is. Um, look what's been added. Maybe we get uh, Burial Chambers still there. Kyrak mods, a way for us to juice our maps, which is kind of cool because now we can add Delirium, this, that, and Essences, and a lot more options in that regard. Nobody gives a damn about Soul Eater. Very few people used it. Uh, corpse life no more won't scale into tier 17 so detonated could or could be good or bad um what else essence drain explosive trap or shrapnel that was one of the league start and sanguination could be really really good really really bad it's good and bad changes i think overall there for my side blink arrow of bombarding uh clones hasn't been nerfed i'm probably going to league start that of corrupting fever champion one of those two penance brand is still really really strong looking at it even though it's been nerfed um pff, what else uh snipers mark absolutely ner nerfed 50 percent less that's a pretty big nerf as well raging spirits goodbye 30 percent 40 percent more damage say goodbye so it is what it is it's been totally trashed next is tornado shot is shot in the freaking foot less projectile additional projectile volatile dead this is nerfed because of ben god damn what can i say ben you got legend look what happened now it is what it is pretty Meh. changes to ascendancy is no gladiator ascendancy that's pretty sad it's been like 300 days 900 days three years four years since they've changed it is that's pretty damn sad guardian nerfed could just pretty much still use it but it is what it is uh necromancer i don't know how i feel about this, this is good and bad at the same time it's more damage more this but huh maybe it keeps your minions alive with 40 percent more additional life as energy shield is what it is no longer left mouse button oh well there's a mine there's a master for you to take uh is what it is unique changes who gives a damn maybe there's some good soul eater stuff here don't know don't care let's move on to the next items uh tattoos looking great looking to pimp my guy out uh maybe it just raises in a bit of damage maybe a bit of avoidance here uh that popped out stun avoidance and ailment avoidance so you could link your ailment avoidance to chance to avoid being chilled or frozen and maybe you can get ailment avoidance like that there's no decks or int or attributes and it doesn't look like there's any flat modif life modifiers cool i think tattoos will be very valuable in a number of different situations uh, what else stack decks have been kind of hugely changed as well as corrupting flasks big thing can be worth a lot so people are going to be slapping those corruptions on your flasks divination changes is what it is um ruthless changes i'm not going to be ruthless because i'll get absolutely clapped Monster balances, oh well, you know, some of the reworks, cool, I guess. A visual change is nice. Campaigns change quite a bit. Some apparent secrets is what it is. Um, bug fixes, I don't know if I encountered any of them. That's it. Done. Speed run. This guy, speed run this patch note. It's probably not everything. Hey, is what it is. It's going to be 47. Signing out. Speed run, 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go.